Hello, I'm Kubold and today I will show you how to uh, create a skeleton, skin and rig a giant mech robot and retarget animations from Movement Animset Pro which I sell on Unreal Marketplace to this robot. So in result you would have, uh, in result you will have a um, giant mech robot walking on using Movement Animset Pro animations which will look pretty good. Uh, let's start. Um, for this purpose, we'll use uh, Maya LT. This is the light version of Maya, which you can actually get for thirty dollars or thirty euro a month. Uh, so it's pretty cheap and pretty powerful. Uh, it's it's like normal Maya, but you can't render movies with it. It's specifically for game uh, models. Uh, for animation we will use uh, Autodesk Motion Builder which is in my opinion the most comfortable software to animate humanoid uh, models with. Uh, let's import our Mac model. This is a model I created um, before so to import it we click File Import uh, and this is the model. I have the file type set to FBX so my dialog uh, import dialog appears here if if it's set to all files we have no dialog here so let's set FBX and we have some options for importing the model so we have we just want to import the model there's no animations in the file but just in case I'll just uncheck animation and pretty much that's it um, add an update animation. This can stay because we are not importing animations. So let's import. So the Mac model is way bigger than uh, than the human, than Movement Aims Pro model. Uh, so this is the Mac, right? Okay. Uh, right. This is the Mac. Uh, we don't have any textures on the Mac. So I will press 6 key to switch the panel because 4 is wireframe, 5 is just model, 6 is textured model. So to add textures to the model we click the model, we have this, this dialog here, we click it and there's color. Um, so I already of course, uh, wait, um, yeah. Boom, we have textured model. So uh, I made this model earlier in Maya LT from boxes, cubes and uh, cylinders. Uh, you can make the same model or download some other model from um, from asset stores on the, on the internet. Uh, the model is not skinned, it doesn't have any bones so it doesn't move, it's in one piece. So first we will create a skeleton to to move the model. Uh, to do that, we need to switch to rigging, and uh, yeah, and here we have our bone tools, creating bone tools. So let's change the view to uh, to a side view, and for this purpose, I will just click space and pick a view from the side. Here's our model. Uh, to make a skeleton, I will usually go to wireframe to see uh, to see the uh, the bones. Let me just make it a little bit. Oh, I actually need the tools. No, I don't need the tools. So there's the Mac. So uh, let me switch back for a moment. So first, let's decide what bones does the Mac need. Uh, we want to create a humanoid, I we want to retarget the animations from a humanoid model. So, uh, we want to have legs, obviously it has legs. We want to have a torso, a sp sp spine, the head, in this case this little turret will be the head, and arms, it doesn't have any arms, but we will create um, a skeleton for the arms later in motion builder just for retargeting purposes and then we'll delete the arms because we don't need it. 
So let me switch back with the space to this view. So first what, do I, what I need is I need uh, a pelvis bone. So I click bone, right? And the pelvis should be right, right about there. I clicked, but the model is very big, so the bone is very small. Uh, but it's 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 there. The next bone. Right now, I'm in bone creating mode. The next bone. I need, uh, let me just click enter, and here's the bone. You can adjust the radius of the bone here. Let's type in 20 and see what happens. Too small still. Let's type in 100. Yeah, now we can see the bone. Let me switch to wireframe with the button 4 on the keyboard. And it's pretty much where the hips are. So it's, it's correct. What we want now, the second bone is the spine. So we have this bone. We can just click Ctrl D which will duplicate the bone and move it here. So that will be our... Uh, right now we have two bones, this one and this one. And that will be our top spine, see? Because that's the hips, that part, and that's the spine. Um, <clears throat> so now we have a little tool here, a little window called Hypergraph Hierarchy. You can if it's not there, you can switch it, you can turn it on by going Windows, um, General Editors and clicking Hypergraph Hierarchy. And this will open this window. So, right now we don't see anything in Hierarchy, but we can also always select a bone or any object and click just the button F, like Focus. And it focuses on... and we have the two, two joints, right? That's the first joint. Uh, I'm, I'm zooming with the mouse wheel. So we have two joints and the model, right? So joint 2 should be the parent of joint 1. You can just parent it by clicking with the middle mouse button on joint 2 and dragging and dropping it to joint 1. And now they are parented. See? Like with the skeleton. So uh, I think the bone radiuses are a little bit too big, so let me just go 50 and 50, which will be more manageable. Right, so we have a skeleton base, so that's our hips, that's our spine, now we need the head. So again, let me just click join 2 and go Control D, which will duplicate it. The duplicated bone is parented to joint 1, but we want it to, uh, it to be parented. So again, with the middle mouse button, we move it to joint 2. And move this bone up. Just where the, our head would be. So in this, in our case, let's move it here. So it will rotate. The turret. So now this is our hierarchy, right? So now let's handle the legs. We need to have the legs. Let me just uh, set up the view because I started to let me just set the view to the side. And now let's create the legs. This is the joint, this little ball. This would be the thigh, this would be the knee, this would be the ankle, this would be the foot, and about here, and this would be the toes. Um, so now, let me just click joint once again, and click, that is the thigh, that is the, oh, um, I accidentally clicked on the the other skeleton. To avoid that, we can hide it. Let's click on the uh, the first joint of the hierarchy, and let's click create a layer. So I have this clicked. This, those are layers. I click layers and create layer from selected, and then I disappeared with this little button. See, the layer here on the window 
disappears. It's still there, but it's not visible. Now I can safely create the rest of the leg without clicking on the hips bone. So, click. This would be the knee. This would be the foot. And let me just quickly decide what I want, where I want the here. And that would be the toes, and that would be the tip of the toes. And let me click. Oh, one little quick tip. You don't control the rotation of the last joint, so if you want the last joint to be rotated exactly like uh, aligned, then create an extra bone and then click enter, select the extra bone and go delete. This way, this little end joint will f will the, the the forward axis will be uh, direct directed to where you want. I mean forward, not some random rotation. So that's our leg. Let me just click space and let's adjust because it it is created on the uh, on the middle. So let's just click four to turn on our wireframe and let's adjust the leg position. So this will be our first joint and then we can just go rotation it's local rotation and let's rotate the bone uh, like we want so this will be our knee it's not in the middle but don't worry let, let me just click this bone click translation uh, it's global so you can change it by clicking uh, sorry the tool window and change it to local object sorry now it's local rotation let's move it so it's more or less in the middle of the joint right let me adjust it a little bit more Right, uh, now the next joint, rotation, let me rotate it like this, so we have a bone here, the next one here, let's adjust, and we have the foot. A little bit more. Mm, oh, sorry. Uh, this is not where I wanted the foot to bend. This is where I wanted the foot to bend. About here. So, let's just move it like this. And like this. And the chest. Okay. We actually could do additional bones for the fingers, but this is supposed to be a top down model, so I won't do it. Because, um, well, the, the, the less bones for games, the better per the performance, right? So um, I'm not going to rig the fingers, but you could do it if you want. So let's unhide our spine and then now we have two hierarchies you can see it on the graph here and we want to parent the, the leg to hips so again middle mouse button drag and drop boom now we have the leg and the spine already configured right so what we want more from this I mean, we could stop there, but we also um, well, that's practically that's our that's our skeleton. So now we want to name the bones, uh, so we can better recognize them. So uh, oh, so that's our hips. So right click, rename, and let's rename it hips. 
Those are, by the way, uh, human IK recognizable names. So it's automatically recognized the names that I'm naming right now, the naming conventions, automatically recognized by Maya and Motion Builder. Next, we have Spine. Right click the name Spine. There is also another uh, way of renaming. We can just click it and rename it here. And that would be the head. Next, this is our upper leg. So we will call it up leg as an upper leg. This is our leg. This is our foot. And this is our toe base. Sorry, my mi microphone is uh, preventing me to type efficiently. And that would be our toe base end. Actually, f for the game, we don't need this bone because it will do nothing, this base end. But it is needed in Motion Builder to um, animate correctly. After you make an animation, you can just delete this bone. So now we want the other leg. So what we need to do is to first um, let's. Oh yeah, I forgot. First, let let's add a prefix prefix to this bone because this is the left leg. So we, we will click on the first joint in this hierarchy that we want to add prefix to the names for and we go uh, and we go modify prefix hierarchy names and let's write left and press enter boom see left 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 now we want to mirror this to this leg so what we do is to go uh, skeleton mirror joints and click this little square there and we want to mirror it along Y and Z axis and search for left, so this left, and replace it with right. Go, mirror. Boom. Right leg. So this is our rig for the Mac. We forgot one thing, the root, because we want to use root mo motion or not, depending on what you want, but um, it is always good to add root and resign from it later than not to add root, root bone. Um, and also the root bone is uh, where our capsule will, will be. So let's add a root bone. For this purpose we just add another joint wherever, enter. So I added it, right? Ah, oh, it did not. Again, bone yeah, enter. It was created. Let's name it root and let's uh, let's uh, let's move it to point zero zero zero. So here and let's attach everything to this little root. So that's our final rig uh, for the Mac. So you have spine, head and the legs, basically, because it has no arms. Um, you can add the same way, you can add the arms uh, to the Mac if you want. Now let's, th th that is the creating the skeleton and um, we'll skin it in the next video. Thank you.